Okay, Hector in New York, thanks for your order. Here's your new radio. I'm going to get this ready to go for you. So I'll be back and I'll kind of show you the end here. Kind of the same thing I always do on these. I don't want to make it too boring for everybody. Okay, Hector, so we got your radio here. Uh, it's in the VFO mode, as I've talked about before. If you don't want the VFO mode, just hold the band button. And it goes back to the channelized bands. You can still kind of do a VFO here, so it's a combination of both. If you choose to do that. AM carriers at about 16 all the way up. There's your transmit frequency right there. Um, for this test, we're just going to do the VFO mode here. Um, this mic is a new mic for Cedric in California, so we'll be shipping that out to him tomorrow. I think when I did your radio, Cedric, I did a mic for uh, another customer of mine. So now you're getting a mic and someone else is getting a radio. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, you got the battery in here already. So you'll be good to go. Just switch your radio mic type to dynamic. And I will switch yours back for you, Hector, before I'm done. That way you can run your factory mic if that's what you're choosing to run. Here's your power output on site or on AM, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, check, check, hello. One, two, three. <clears throat> My voice is going out again. That happens a lot. I do a lot of talking. Uh, a lot less talking on the radio, but a lot of talking in one day, and it seems like my voice starts to kind of go out. I talk a lot at my job, too, so, you know, it's kind of one of those things, but it comes and goes, I guess. We're pretty close to 16-watt carrier all the way up, and then, obviously, we're peaking, you know, right around the full output of the radio anyways, which is about what we should. Um, so every once in a while it might creep up a little higher than that, but you should expect to see right around 80 somewhere in that range. Um, right here's a little warm right now. I wouldn't say it's like scorching or anything. So, um, you know, as far as the power is, it's pretty consistent. Here's upper side band. So upper side band, you know, obviously these are a little more stout on side band anyway. So, you know, the side band guys will really, really like these. And, and I think everybody should should probably like them. I really like them. It seems like the QT80 is getting some really good reports on YouTube for a lot of these guys that were were gifted a radio by Radio Oddity to do reviews on and stuff. They they seem to be going over really well. So I think this is, I was just talking to a good friend of mine the other day. I think this is probably one of the, the best radios for our market since maybe like the, I don't know, we're going way back on this, and, and probably a lot of people will have a different opinion on this, but I think, um, and let me grab mine just to show. Well, this really wasn't the radio I was wanting. I, I got a, one of these. I got an HR2600 and a 2510. For me, it was more the 2510. Other parts of the world, it was probably this one. But what I was saying, anyways, was I think when those radios came out, they were like the best of the best for that time. And I, I, I'm really taking a shot here, but I really believe in this radio, and I really think this might be one of the best of the best for its time right now. Because um, it has just so many good features, and it's it's multi-usable for everything from, you know, the diehard HF user to, I guess, somebody that likes just to use CB, if that's what you're going to use it for, and everything else in between. The combination of both, and pretty much anything you could do with a little bit of maybe your own work. If you want to run Morse code or you want to do like some digital modes on HF, I and mean, you can do all that with just a little extra work on the user part, but um, I think it's uh, I think it's really uh, pushed the limit on what certain radios are capable of doing because this thing does do a lot. Now this is the channelized band right here, so we can kind of see what it's doing here. And that's side band. This is back to AM. Uh, it was 50 watts on FM, so our carrier to our peak here one two three four five check check hello one two one two so still does good on am you can put this in the in the t setting or it takes a little bit faster measurements for peak this is a, another form of the peak reading setting but it, it takes so many faster measurements that it really is hard to keep up with at times but you can see here you know certain words and stuff do hit some different peaks and stuff 
whereas on the W it kind of grabs a hold of a, a of a peak hold for a second so kind of reads the the most peak where it was we saw like an 85 there for a second so I prefer the the peak hold version versus this this would I guess in maybe in certain ways would be more like your I don't know like your bird meter or something where it kind of the needle is swinging around and stuff but for the most part there you know I mean we're, we're well over 60 plus which is about four times this carrier anyway so you, know, you can read it multiple ways that's more for like tuning an amplifier using that setting that's what they specify that for because you want to see smaller changes and stuff like that but i i prefer the you know the peak hold setting because that way it's a little more straightforward i don't really care about some of the lower values and stuff anyways um, and when we look at our, our sideband, this actually this is AM right here, sorry. When we look at our AM, we do see different peaks and valleys in the modulated signal there. So we're not always screaming and hollering into the mic where we're going to get those higher power outputs anyways. But, you know, when we're only really measuring like power, I don't really care about the lower dips and stuff like that. I just want to see, okay, what, what am I doing just about, because I think that's a lot, how a lot of operators work, you know. If they're saying, okay, I'm running this, that, and everything else on the air, and somebody asks, well, what kind of power are you running? And you say, well, I'm running, right now I'm running a maximum of about 96 watt. So that's what we're running right now. Everybody looks at that a little bit different, but that's how I look at it, you know. You're not going to tell them, well, at certain words, I'm running 20, and then 40, and 60. You're just going to say I'm running 96 watt. So, but anyhow, uh, Hector and Cedric... Got your equipment ready to head your way tomorrow, so appreciate both your orders. And um, there is a little bit of skip right now on 11 meter, but it seems to be kind of dying off as the minutes tick by. I heard a guy in South Africa, and I was able to make contact with him, although he was reluctant to tell me his QTH, and I had to look up the division because I'm not too up on the divisions. Um, he was in the 4-4 division, which I found out after I researched it, that was South Africa. So, for whatever reason, he didn't want to just say South Africa. But uh, he definitely came in good when he was there. Alright, appreciate your orders, and uh, catch everybody later. 73.